Welcome to the Creative Hudza. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to do cinematic color grading in Affinity Photo. Color grading is essentially the process that's used to enhance a photo. It's usually associated with video editing, but color grading takes place in photography too. When color grading, things such as the contrast, saturation, color, and other attributes of an image are enhanced to achieve a certain look. We'll create color grading looks from the matrix, the popular orange and teal look, and a horror look. We'll first create the matrix look. Go to File, Open, and select the picture of New York. In the matrix movie, you notice that the majority of the scenes have a green color cast to them. So this is the look we'll create with this picture. In the layers panel, click the adjustments icon and select the black and white adjustment. We want to desaturate the image first. I want to darken the reds, blues, and magenta in the picture. Take the sliders for the red, blue, and magenta and slide them to the left. I set the red to 54%, blue to 80%, and magenta to 79%. Now, I want to lighten the yellows, greens, and cyans in the picture. Take the sliders for the yellow, green, and cyan and slide them to the right. I set the yellow to 115%, green to 115%, and the cyan to 119%. The percentage percent doesn't really matter. It'll be different depending on the picture you use. Next, go to the Layers panel and lower the opacity of this adjustment layer to 70% to make some of the colors show through. After that, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Color Balance Adjustment. You can really use any adjustments you want to create this look. Go to the Tonal Range and select the Shadows. Since green is the color we want to achieve, we'll need to work with the cyan and yellow because if you look at the color wheel, which you can access by going to the Color panel, then select the menu on the right and click Wheel, you'll see that yellow and cyan make green. Take the slider for the cyan red and slide it to the left. I set it to negative 27%. Then take the yellow blue slider and slide it to the left too. I set it to negative 23%. Also add some green to it by sliding the slider to the right. I set it to 6%. You could achieve this by just working with the green slider, but using the other two sliders to add green to the picture makes it more balanced to me. Also, make sure you check the preserve luminosity box. That way the lightness from the original image will remain intact. Now go to Tonal Range and select Highlights. Take the cyan red and slide the slider to the left to add cyan to the image. I set it to negative 31%. Then slide the yellow blue slider to the left to add yellow. I set it to negative 28%. Slide the magenta green slider slightly to the right. I set that to 5%. Let's compare this to one of the pictures from the Matrix. You'll see that we achieved the same type of green color cast that was used in the movie. This can be applied to many images too. To make this really look like a movie scene, we can add black bars. Grab the Crop tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and slightly extend the top and the bottom of the document from the middle. Then hit Apply. Make sure the picture is centered on the document. Next, grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Draw a rectangle that covers the top part. Then press and hold Ctrl and Shift and drag a duplicate of the rectangle to the bottom. The real cinematic aspect ratio for film is 2.39 to 1, which is 1920 pixels by 803 pixels, or the aspect ratio of 2.76 to 1, which is 1920 pixels by 696 pixels. You can set the cropping to that if you want to to make it look like the real scene. I chose not to set it to those ratios because I didn't want the actual picture to be cropped. 
The next cinematic color grading look we'll create is the popular orange and teal look or the orange and blue. This look is found in a lot of Hollywood movies, especially action type movies. Orange and teal are complementary colors, which means that these colors are opposite each other on the color wheel. When color grading with these colors, the orange is used for the highlights and the skin tones of a person, while the teal or blue is used for the shadows. Go to File Open and select the picture of the man on the motorcycle. Next, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Channel Mixer Adjustment. This adjustment allows you to adjust the color of individual channels. You can go into any channel to make the teal and orange look, but we'll use the green channel. Go to the green channel. Since green and blue make teal or cyan, you need to adjust the blue and the green within the green channel. Set the green to 0% and the blue to 100%. You'll see that teal was slightly added to the sky and the man's jeans and jacket. Also, the skin tone was changed too with a light orange tint and the leaves in the back were changed. Now go to the layers panel and click the adjustments icon. Select the HSL adjustment. Click the red channel. Set the hue shift to negative 28% and set the saturation shift to 30%. This adds more orange to the face and the leaves in the middle. After that, go to the adjustments icon and select the vibrance adjustment. This will intensify the teal and the orange in the picture. Set the vibrance to 24% and set the saturation to 50%. Lower the opacity of this layer to about 50%. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and click the Selective Color Adjustment. We'll use this adjustment to enhance the teal color in the picture. In the Color, go to Cyans. Set the Cyan to 80% and Black to 20%. If you wanted to add some contrast to the image, you can add a Curves adjustment to darken the image. Go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select the Curves Adjustment. Take the node on the left and slide it up slightly. Add a node in the middle of the curve and drag it down some. Then, add a node further up the curve and drag it slightly down. Your curve may look different depending on your desired look. Now, we can add the black rectangle like we did for the matrix look. Grab the Crop tool from the Tools panel. Stretch the top and the bottom. Then click Apply in the Context Toolbar. If you want to use the real cinema aspect ratio, you'd enter the numbers into this area. Then press Apply. Now grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel and draw a rectangle to cover the transparent part at the top. Press and hold Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the rectangle at the bottom. As with the matrix look, this teal and orange look works well with a variety of different pictures too. We'll now do the third cinematic color grading look, which is the horror look. Some horror movies, such as Nightmare on Elm Street, the first paranormal activity movie, and the first saw all have a blue color cast to them. And this is the look we'll be creating. First, go to File Open and select the picture of the man standing in the field. Next, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the black and white adjustment. Slide the sliders for the cyan, blue, and magenta towards the right. This will lighten these colors. Slide the red and yellow sliders to the left. 
This will darken those colors. In the Layers panel, lower the opacity of this layer to 60%. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon again and select the Color Balance Adjustment. Since blue is the color we want to achieve, we'll need to add cyan and magenta into the image because when you look at the color wheel, you'll see that these two colors make blue. Go to Tonal Range and select the Midtones. Slide the cyan red to the left. I set it to negative 17%. Next, slide the magenta green to the left to add magenta to the midtones. I set this to negative 18%. Then slide the yellow blue slider to the right. I set that to 54%. The percentages will be different depending on how blue you want your picture to look. Also, I check the preserve luminosity box, but you don't necessarily have to for this look. After that, go to tonal range and select shadows. Slide the sliders for the cyan red and the magenta green to the left to add those colors to the shadows. I set the cyan red to negative 18% and the magenta green to negative 24%. Then slide the yellow blue to the right. I set this to 24%. Now go to the highlights. Slide the cyan red and magenta green to the left. I set the cyan red to negative 26% and then magenta green to negative 16%. Then slide the yellow blue slider to the right. I set it to 23%. In the layers panel, go to the adjustments icon and select the curves adjustment. In the master channel, select the node on the left and slide it to the right. Then add a node up the curve and drag it down. After that, go further up the curve and add another node and drag it down. Take the node on the right and slide it down. Next, go to the blue channel and add a node in the middle of the curve and slide it up. This will add more blue to the image. Once you've done that, go to the adjustments icon and select the brightness contrast adjustment. I want to darken the image more. Set the brightness to negative 33% and the contrast to 23%. This horror look can be applied to different images too. And this is how to do cinematic color grading in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.